Welcome to Eat Right by George, the healthy cooking show showing you healthy can be delicious. And on today's show, I'll be demonstrating how to make an Elvis peanut butter sandwich. You know, a lot of pop stars are known for their music. A lot of pop stars are known for their style. But I think only one pop star is known for a sandwich, the Elvis. And I'll be showing you how to make an Elvis peanut butter sandwich the healthy way. Sandwich fit for the king. Elvis healthy uh, peanut butter sandwich. We're going to need two slices of whole wheat bread. We'll need uh, four tablespoons of natural peanut butter, non trans fat, a couple of tablespoons of uh, butter, and two bananas. So it's really simple making this sandwich and sometimes the simplest recipes can be the best recipes because they're so quick and easy to make and they still can be nutritious. So it's hard to believe that something so simple uh, was one of the king's favorite dishes, believe it or not. Uh, although remember uh, the original version of this uh, requires uh, bacon and white bread and just any kind of peanut butter. So we're kind of putting our own twist on it here on Eat Right by George. So starting out, I'm using a sa saute pan. You want to put it on medium heat. And I just like to take a couple tablespoons of butter It's very similar actually to a uh, grilled cheese sandwich. Just want to melt that around our pan. And while that's melting, take a little bit of your butter and put that on your bread. Spread it. And of course we're using whole wheat bread. And one of the ways you can tell if you're using whole wheat bread is the first ingredient on the label says 100% whole wheat. It doesn't say enriched. And you want to make sure that it contains a good amount of fiber. Each slice should be about 2 to 3 grams of fiber. And the nice thing about this bread is it doesn't contain any high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup, of course, has been linked to so many diseases like obesity. This is a great recipe to do with the family. Kids will love it. And it's a nice tribute to the king. Of course, Elvis was born in the month of January. And there have been many variations of this recipe. Uh, many people try to do it uh, several different ways. So I'm not so sure how many people have done it the healthy way though. So that's what we're doing here. So you just want to swirl the melted butter around on your pan. We're only using a little bit of butter. Uh, we're not using margarine. I really prefer butter over margarine. And Remember when you have your pan heated, uh, you don't want to uh, have it too high because the butter can burn and turn brown and then your bread's going to be brown. And then you're going to smell up the whole house as well. So you just want to make sure that it's on medium heat and you're not overcooking your butter. And you want to cook the bread until uh, it's golden brown. While that's cooking, what I like to do is get my peanut butter. Now this uh, type is the all-natural peanut butter, which means there's no other additives to it. There's not added sugar. There's no high fructose corn syrup. This is just peanuts that have been mashed. And that's it. That's the only thing that's in this 
recipe. Now what I like to do is put the peanut butter on each side, a couple tablespoons, and spread them. And then take your knife, kind of spread it out. And what I did ahead of time is I sliced up our bananas. You can also mash the bananas. Some recipes call for mashed bananas. Or if you like, you can also slice them into just little pieces and line those up on your sandwich. Try to make them thin though. You don't want them to be chunks. Now what I like to do with this recipe, I, you can either make it a sandwich, which means you're going to close it up, or what I like to do is just leave it open and cut them into little appetizers as well. So I'm doing a little bit of a different variation here as well, just so that you can kind of get a feel for it. And the great thing about this recipe, it has all the food groups as well. You have your fruit group in there, your grain group. You're getting the healthy oils from that peanut butter. Protein from your peanut butter as well. Yes, peanut butter has protein, so that's part of the protein group too. So one way to check your bread if it's ready is take a spatula and just kind of lift the corner. If it's golden brown, then it's ready. Oh, the Elvis uh, peanut butter sandwich is just something that's going to be so delicious. It smells so good. The king would be proud if he could see these. Okay, so they're nice and golden brown. So here's one way I would serve it. You can serve it open-faced. Nice and crispy. Ooh, nice. And I'll do another one after. But just to give you a little idea, you can serve them open-faced like this and cut them into fours as little appetizers for people. Or you can eat them like this. You can eat them open face like this. Now another way, of course, is to take your Elvis peanut butter sandwich and do it close face. In order to do this, first you would put the peanut butter over the top, spread it. And remember not to overdo it because then your bread will be soggy. You don't want that. You want it to be crispy. And then next I would take my bananas, put those in the middle. another one over the top and then put that on my pan. Now our pan is nice and hot so it's sizzling. I'm going to flip it. Press it down and then press it with your spatula. And flip them on both sides. Flip them till they're golden brown. And we're not using too much heat and we're not using too much butter because a lot of butter is going to cause you to have too many calories. So the reason we don't have to use too much butter is because we have a non-stick pan 
and we don't have to worry about the bread sticking to the pan I'm using a non-stick pan of course and the Elvis the healthy version of the Elvis peanut butter sandwich would only be about hundred and fifty calories so versus the original version which is probably about three to four hundred calories so we're cutting back on calories the fat all those things and this is just about ready I'm gonna slice it in half and let you see what it looks like now as an added treat for our tribute to Elvis today making the healthy peanut butter sandwich the Elvis uh, we're also going to make an Elvis milkshake, a healthy version, of course. So stick around for that one. Now this is nice and crispy. What I like to do next is take that and slice it here on my cutting board. Turn that heat down. right down the middle and give you an idea what it looks like in the middle delicious healthy and delicious a sandwich fit for a king right here on your ride by George stick around for the Elvis milkshake coming up next Elvis milkshake the milkshake fit for a king hope you enjoyed the uh, Elvis peanut butter sandwich and uh, along the same lines the Elvis milkshake will contain three tablespoons of peanut butter of course I'm using the natural peanut butter it will need a tablespoon of vanilla two teaspoons of sugar uh, three tablespoons of chocolate we're going to use a little bit of chocolate in this one, give it more flavor. The peanut butter with the chocolate complement each other. We'll need one banana, which is a great source of potassium, of course. I'm using two cups of Greek yogurt. Of course, Greek yogurt has twice the amount of protein than regular yogurt. I'm using plain Greek yogurt. I'm using one-fourth cup of reduced fat milk. But I'm using organic milk instead. Now I want to make this a little bit healthier than the original version of the Elvis milkshake. Now the original version of the Elvis milkshake, that one contains ice cream, two tablespoons, two cups actually of ice cream, and you know that's going to make it way too fattening. And we want this to be the healthier version. So we're not going to use the ice cream. Instead, we're substituting with Greek yogurt. So starting off, what we're going to be doing here, using a ninja, it's along the same lines of, as a bullet. I really like using the ninja because it makes the milkshake really nice and smooth. So we're using our 1 4 cup organic milk. And the other nice thing about the organic milk is that the cows that they use that produce the milk are uh, grass fed so they're only eating grass they're not eating grain that has been treated at all with GMOs so the grain is uh, something you have to watch out for because a lot of the cows that the conventional ones they're eating grains that may have antibiotics or they have genetically modified organisms which are meant to make the cows produce more milk and are meant to make the cows grow faster. We don't want that. We want it to be more of a natural uh, type of ingredient. So we're using organic milk. And I think a lot of times organic milk tastes a lot better too than the regular milk. So we have our milk in there. Next I'm going to put my yogurt, which is a substitute for the ice cream. So it's almost the same consistency. 
Greek yogurt tends to be thicker. That's why I don't use just a uh, regular yogurt. Use the Greek yogurt. It's thicker. So it's along the same lines as ice cream in consistency and texture. And remember to use plain because you really just want to taste the peanut butter and the chocolate and the banana in this recipe. And only a hint of vanilla and I'm also going to add a teaspoon of honey as well. Because honey and peanut butter go together so well. That's our e Ride by George Twist. And of course honey is uh, very nutritious. Put those aside. Next we're going to use one banana. So you don't have to slice it. You can just break it up. Our banana is going to act as a thickening agent. If you want this to be a little bit thicker, you can add more banana. We're going to add one for now. We might have to add more banana. Now here comes our three tablespoons of peanut butter, all natural. So here's one, two. Now the uh, all natural peanut butter tends to be a little bit more runny. You're probably noticing that. And that's because there are no added ingredients. There's no added sugar, there's no hydrogenated fats in there that are going to make it not so healthy. A lot of the peanut butters out there have hydrogenated oils, which are not good for you. They contain trans fats. A couple tablespoons of sugar. A little vanilla, of course, the vanilla is a uh, flavoring agent. I usually use a capful here. And lastly, honey. Teaspoon of honey. And that's also a flavoring agent. Now, the really interesting thing about the Ninja is that the motor loads on top. So you just take the motor like this, make sure the words Ninja are facing you, and there you go.